So a lot of coaches talk about that period between spring ball and now the progression that they want to see in players. What have you seen in yourself? What did you try to accomplish? I'm just proud of the guys around me that are, you know, really doing things and you know, getting themselves ready to come out and play. What about you, though? I'll be ready. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm just competing with myself, to be honest. Uh, making sure that the mistakes that, if I make mistakes, you know, I correct myself on the mistakes that I make and don't make those mistakes again and really just watching film and just going out there and just having fun and playing ball. A lot of the made about the inexperience of the quarterback as a whole, the quarterback group as a whole. you were saying it's kind of like outside noise. How do you feel about that? Not worried about that. Not what, why is that? Why is that? Because I'm a cool, calm, collect, confident. <laughs> Todd talked about that in his opening press conference too. Inexperience there, inexperience on the offensive line, and, and possibly the need to simplify things a little bit on offense this year. What are your thoughts on that? Have you guys discussed that? Well, it's not really just simplifying. You know, it's not making it, you know, dumbing it down or making it for you know a lesser knowledgeable player. Um, it's really just catering to the quarterback that's out on the field and, and doing the plays that that quarterback is comfortable with and that's really all it is. I mean, we're all capable to do anything coaches throw at us. So, you know, I'm proud of these guys and we're just working every day to get better. Having a new quarterback on the system, how nice is it to have experienced running backs to have you know, behind you just in case anything goes wrong? Uh, it's great. Those guys are two really talented backs and Nick Rawson's a very talented back also. So, you know, it's good to be back there and have guys, you know, know what they're doing and, you know, you don't have to look at him and tell him, you know, what route he has or any of that stuff. So those guys are our leaders on this team and they're veterans and, you know, make plays. You seem like you're really close with Sam uh, he's a little brother. I'm the big brother. Um, I don't know. We're just we fool around with each other a lot, and you know, like you said, we have a pretty good relationship. So, you know, when you're on that field, it's all competition. But like I said, at the end of the day, I'm I'm competing with myself, and he's competing with himself. And you know, when he makes mistakes, I learn from it. When I make mistakes, he learns from it. And, you know, together we get better. He said you kind of took him under his wing. But why did you feel the need to do that to him? For you? Because it happened. Mike and Taylor took me under their wing, you know. Um, I'm confident and Brady has the opportunity to go out there and play. He can get the job done and, you know, it's my job as the older as the older brother or whatever to make sure that he's ready when he needs to step in. Thanks, Manny. Get Armand in here. Thank you, guys.